So here, here's my, <laughs> this is my high school friend, Chris, TJ Panic. There's my manager. So, Caesar Casanova is a fascinating guy. So, the guy named Justin, I went to high school with him. Uh, cerebral palsy, you know, he's in, he's in a chair, but like super, super like charismatic. Like this is, this guy, he was one of these people like who embrace, like he loved it. He like, I'm crippled, cute, and confident. Triple C. Like he, he would, he would freestyle rap. He would be like in a funny and respectful way would, would, would like flirt with and like hit on girls in the hallway and everything like that. He was like, he was a schmoozer. He, he had, he had a butt, so much confidence and, and like charisma and loved wrestling. And so he wanted to be my man. He's got this chair really cool. By the way, he's got this chair cause he, um, his legs don't work, but the chair, when he hits a button, stands him upright. So he uses that to get involved in the match at one point. It's pretty fantastic. Wearing uh, Adidas, Adidas uh, Speedo there, swim trunks, shooter boots. And once again, we're working the right side because we don't know anything. Hey, at least the heel punches first in this one. Oh, I'm too strong, baby. Right into a belly to belly that I didn't know how to do. Thank God my friend is an athlete. Kick out at one, though. Working the right, using the right side, it's all backwards. I'm so blown up already. The adrenaline, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. The adrenaline is like. Don't hit somebody on the ground, you idiot. This is absolutely not brawl for all. This is not a shoot. <laughs> Look at that hair. Look at all that hair. We're both so gassed already. Wrong side. That was shoot. That was a shoot kick. I took that in the jaw. And you'll watch here. I don't kick out. I got a little, I got a little loopy on that one. Come on, Chris. Whoa. Here we go. I'm so blown up right here. Minimal, no training. Get him, get him, Justin, get him. Stand up in the chair. Too strong for the tights. Oh, they didn't get it on camera, but he, he ran into the other manager. He stood up in the chair and ran into the other manager. <laughs> Uh-oh. Chris Benoit time. I'm so tired. You can see me just like. <gasps> uh, uh, uh. 
Joel, Justin, he's having the time of his life. This is his WrestleMania. Leg slap, leg slap on the nut kick. Oh, this is big aerial time, baby. Big aerial time. So you can see. We were like all bodybuilding, no cardio at this time. Oh wait, I think, I think, are we going home here, baby? No, 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 counter. Stop it. And a good old sex pin to finish it off. <laughs> Why did I pin him like that? And lay out the heel manager. Yeah. He loves it. I I do I This, this, he really. <laughs> yeah, good bodies, baby. Ian Rotten told me I had a good body. Life complete. You know what, I did okay for being a pasty ass white kid most of my career. Sucking down a beer here. I mean, they were, they were nice enough to, especially to Justin, they were nice enough to him. We went out there with zero actual training other than rolling around on my trampoline in the backyard. <laughs> Paying for shows so I can make, <laughs> make money. Thank you, Mickey Knuckles, star of uh, various episodes of Jerry Springer. <laughs> You'll never go anywhere, face. Yeah, Sheamus becomes WWE champion at the end of the year, hundred percent.
He wants a date. I think he asked Mickey Knuckles out on a date. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, Ryan Phoenix, you drunk asshole.